Welcome back to AM Northwest. Here to tell us how removing clutter from our closets can free us up in other areas as well, we welcome back psychologist Dr. Goli Sadi Bocci. Always good to see you. Wonderful to be back. You look very nice, by the way. I like <laughs> Thank that you. jacket. You, um, so what is, the, what is the idea behind a curated closet? The idea really is simplicity because I think so many times we are just buying, buying, buying. We're, we are in this consumer society. Mm -hmm. There are sales going on. There's a lot that can catch our eye. But suddenly we wake up and we you know, go to our closet and there's nothing to wear. Right. And that's Even though it's thing. filled. It's filled to the brim, and mm -hmm. yet we can't figure out a w one single thing that we really want to wear. Right. And so you, you solve it by you say, stop shopping sales. That's a big one. So well, How do I get my <laughs> deals then? That's not very helpful. Well, psychologically, we love the idea of a sale. Right. right? I put out $100 and I get 10 different items, as right. opposed to maybe I get one high-quality item. The thing with the sales, Helen, is that they're not always the highest quality, and they're oftentimes trendy items that we're not going to need as a classic piece. So right. what you really want to invest in are those classics so a really good pair of jeans a good blazer slacks things like that and those neutral colors often you probably notice they don't go on sale I'll find a pair of shoes that I really like and the printed version is on sale but the black and the nude usually is still full price oh. and so a lot of times we kind of get outsmarted by these sales yeah so avoid those sh avoid those sales exactly yeah. yeah okay and then you say it's important to know your palette and pick your palette yeah so, so, are you, so are you saying then our closet should be filled with just the color one color that we like if it's black or if it's blue or so it's usually not just one color so we okay. get four to five different colors that we pick so this right. comes out of a book called the curated closet um, and it really helped me to kind of get a sense for what really is my palette because mm -hmm. sometimes you know I went to a store one day and they had all these lime greens and blues and I thought oh they look really pretty but they weren't the palette that I had chosen for myself okay so for example I love pink mm -hmm. so I can have lots of different shades of pink whites blues navies grays but the idea is that they are cohesive okay. so when you go so to one pull goes something with the out, other right exactly gotcha. so you can have as many colors as you want but you just want them to work together in the same family okay and then you say uh, quality not quantity. That's a huge one. So I will say my husband taught me that one. So originally... You mean the six-foot guy <laughs> with the blue eyes? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. So what I ended up doing was I was a student for so long and mm -hmm. I had a really a small budget, you know, and so I was just buying cheap items and he said, you know what, if you just bought one high-quality item, it'll last you a decade right. instead of having to cycle through things every single season. And so a lot of times it can be really hard. I can be really stingy. I don't want to pay for, you know, a good pair of boots, but you pay for it and then you have it for a decade right and well it's kind of yeah you buy a high quality but it's that it's <laughs> that giving up that I don't know four hundred five hundred dollars now I've never oh, even absolutely. done that <laughs> but sometimes that's what those boots cost it can and really what it is too though is that you want the good material so it doesn't always have to cost more right what happens right now we have a lot of these synthetic materials so mm -hmm. I remember one time I went into my closet and I said everything is polyester right I don't have any cotton or wool or real denim so right. the idea is really you just want these good items that are gonna last you a long time right and usually they travel well too I found they out do, yeah. high quality. Um, you say visions take time they do so I'll be honest this July I went through and I kind of got rid of everything in my closet mm -hmm. and that's a tendency that we can all have is I'm gonna start fresh I'm gonna have my palette I'm gonna have my high quality items but if you toss everything you will have nothing left over in your closet right <laughs> so you want to be very careful and take your time with it so maybe one season you get one blazer one season you get a pair of boots right so you're not just constantly buying to be buying you're slowly phasing out the lower quality items and replacing them with the high quality basic items that you need right and then doing it over a period of time do you I've been doing uh, this one thing where if I buy something I have to get rid of something else in the closet because Absolutely. just, it's just too, usually you can find something oh yeah I'm not really wearing that we all have it. I think that's a fantastic idea right. and I think every single season going through and seeing what did I wear what did I not wear right a lot of people have that sort of hanger trick right so it's like once they wear it they flip the hanger and mm -hmm. then they look and they see did I flip all the hangers or not right if those are the items that you didn't wear you get rid of them right or if they're worn they're looking kind of you know exactly scruffy now time to time to get rid of them exactly and that's yeah. what happens with the lower quality items as they start to pill they start to fall yeah. apart and they so wear really, pretty quickly they do you really want to look at the construction of what you're buying right and that's the curated closet it is okay <laughs> thank you very and I'm glad your tall husband with the blue eyes helped you out on that, on that he one. did okay. <laughs> all right thank you very much thank goalie. you so Appreciate much